I've tried my best to keep politics and religion and any kind of racial things out of the Tuesday Newsday. I try to keep it light for the most part. Last week, it was a little heavy, but it was just one of those things I had to share. This week, we hit on something a little bit more serious. When I say serious, I mean, this is seriously ridiculous. Mary Poppins, the original, not Mary Poppins Returns. The New York Times today went and did an article all about how Mary Poppins did blackface. Y'all know blackface. It's where a white person goes and puts black on their face so they can be an African-American and uh, in essentially mock or poke at or mimic, imitate, what not, what have you, at the black people. It has since become offensive, not right, um, socially unacceptable, if you will. But apparently, the New York Times decided to just run an article about how Mary Poppins did blackface. It was from the scene where they're all playing with Dick Van Dyke. They're shooting in and out of the, the uh, chimneys and the other chimney sweeps are dancing around. And Michael and Jane go and, and uh, those are the kids. Uh, they, get, they get some soot on their face. And Mary Poppins goes and actually opens up a little makeup thing and grabs a, a pat and starts patting some, some soot on her face. That apparently is uh, blackface. Mary Poppins. She's racist. Who knew that Julie Andrews had a dinner? But here's where things get a little bit more serious. Now, this is almost as ludicrous as like Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer or Baby It's Cold Outside. You know, all the classics that we've all grown to love and appreciate over time. They're classics. Yet someone somewhere out there decides to get their little undies in a wad and start digging deep, grasping at straws. And, and just really coming unglued over something that most people, and when I say most people, I mean everybody, but that one person, just, they don't see it. They don't get it. Why? Because they don't care. Nobody cares. But this is, this is where things get a little bit more serious. The scene itself, uh, when, when they're all in blackface, um, <clears throat> one of the chimney sweeps comes to the door and the housemaid screams, don't touch me, you black heathen. Then, um, when, uh, one of the sweep, one of the sweeps reaches out his hand, to touch the cook, she threatens to quit and says, if that hot and tot goes into the chimney, I shall go out the door. Now, I know what you're all thinking, a hot and tot. Yes, that is extremely offensive. Actually, you're probably thinking, I have no idea exactly what a hot and tot is. So I took the liberty of looking it up so I can tell you exactly what a hot and tot is. And afterwards, you'll thank me. A Hottentot is a term historically used of the Khoihoi, the non-Bantu indigenous nomadic pastoralists of South Africa. Yep, that's a Hottentot. Sounds pretty serious. <sighs> There's a couple different lines in that movie, actually, where... Mary Poppins even goes and tells Michael, I understand that you're behaving like a hot and tot. The kid had black on his face and apparently was acting up. Now that you know that Mary Poppins is a racist and Julie Andrews, well, she was on the Nazi side in uh, Sound of Music because she's just a horrible monster, hopefully you'll go and take all your Mary Poppins memorabilia and burn them. 
because you don't need that kind of trash in your house. Or if you're a normal person, you'll probably just go and listen to what I say and say, you know what, that's just ludicrous. Who cares? Okay, what happened in the past is the past. What happens in the future, well, that's up to us. And we need to go and make sure that, well, we're living as best of life as we can and as good of an influence as we can. Because who knows, maybe 60 years from now, somebody will look back at your Facebook posts and say, Wow, you're a real monster because you said Merry Christmas to somebody. Heck, it's already happening. Why can't we just all go and accept what life is? It's different. It's different than you, it's different than me, and we just have to accept it. And in the meantime, whenever we see this fluffing stuff on New York Times or the Wall Street Journal, instead of getting worked up over it, I'm doing my best not to, because I think it's asinine. Just let it go. Let it go. I forgot how the rest of the song will go. The cold never bothered me anyway. I think that goes like full circle to the other Tuesday Newsday, or the other rant I had, where Chris and Belle told her kids not to watch Disney movies, because they're all horrible. And I think that that's what go goes back to is people overreacting over the littlest things and coming unglued over something that's just not really worth coming unglued over. Don't read between the lines, accept it for what it is. That's all it is. Entertainment. And if you're entertained, give me a thumb up. If you're new, subscribe. So every Tuesday, you can see this mug giving you some news. Something that's not political, or racial, or religious. Something that is light and fluffy. Unless it's like today or last week. And now I know you're wondering, what was so big last week? Go back and check it out. It's worth it. We'll see you later. Bye. <laughs>